and now we are making our way to Shannon National Park and we're meeting Cam's parents there and they're going to come camping with us for the next few weeks or a week or so. This episode we leave our camp Cozy Corner which was just out of Albany and we push on to Bremer Bay where we stayed for a, a few days. From Bremer Bay we move on to uh, a camp just next to Hope Town which was called Tiff Four Mile. And that's it. Enjoy. So we're at Bremer Bay Caravan Park, 34 bucks a night, is that right, bud? Yeah, 35. Heaps of green grass, nice big sites. We've got one right next to so Mum and Dad. And we've got this big grass sort of paddock in front of us in the playground, which Chloe's loving. I love it. I always had a little play in it. And you loved it? Yeah. Good, you got ice cream all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to be here for a couple of nights and I think the rain's setting in for the next two or three days so I'm not too sure what we'll be able to do yet but we'll find something good to do. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. Worked alright didn't it? So good having the leather. I know. Tiff's doing a bit of a pack up because we we're watching this front rolling in. Some pretty dark rain holding clouds while I look at them. And we had a quick Google to see what the weather's doing. And um, the last time we looked, it was going to be possible 5 to 10 mils of rain. Now it's going to be rain and 70k winds. So we're packing everything away. Awnings definitely come down. Kitchen away, chairs away. Um, and we think we're probably going to have to ride this out in the caravan tomorrow morning. Well, it's not going to be hit, it's not meant to hit until tomorrow morning. Yeah. But we're meant to be checking out tomorrow, so I don't really want to check out and travel in 70 kilometer winds. No. Nah. Caravan will bloody flip over. Yeah. <laughs> so we're thinking we'll book another night's accommodation here, ride this storm out tomorrow, probably spend most of the day just in the van, and um, move on after that. Like Towards that, Esperance. Yeah. No, we'll shut it because all the water will run into the kitchen void now that the awning's down. Oh. Um, but before this storm hits, we'll go. We haven't even really had a look around Bremer because we've just been chilling out at the caravan park, relaxing. So we'll go for a drive now and um, have a bit of a poke around before the storm hits.
So we had a drive around, looked at about what four or five different beaches. Mm. Beautiful beaches, but it's so overcast and stormy today, so you can't really appreciate what it would be like on a calm day. That's the southwest, so isn't it? It's, weather yeah. can be so hit and miss down here. Yeah, so we're we're the start of November now. Um, it will be getting nice soon, but there's a big um, storm rolling through the next few days. Uh, Sorry. Now we're feeling a bit blare, so we'll go back to the caravan, have a chill, and then we're going to go out for dinner at the brewery. That'll get us pepped up. And then tomorrow, big storm in the morning. Hopefully it's not that bad. Yeah, we'll just ride it out here. And then I think we have a window of one day good weather, mm. which will be our travel day towards Esperance. Yeah. And then the weather's looking pretty crappy again. Yeah. So, and from Esperance, we've got to make an informed decision as to whether we gun north up through Kalgoorlie, Great Central Road, and do the territory, the bottom end of the territory, out of season, so we're gonna be out of season, because... But it'll be hot, it won't be cold, it'll be hot. Yeah, it'll be hot, and it could be wet, so. But that's pretty cool too. Uluru in the wet, I reckon it'd be pretty awesome. All that stuff in the wet. Yeah, otherwise we'll bomb over to South Australia, so. This is a four mile camp, this is a deep poor one in uh, the Fitzgerald National Park just outside of Hope Town. We're on our way to Esperance, we left Bremen this morning. Uh, so this one you had to book online before you get here and you need a National Parks Pass as well. You can see the big, um, that's Mount Barron in the background, you can climb that, Tiff's just looking at that online, suss out whether we'll do it. And we can hear the ocean just over our shoulder but we haven't seen it yet. Um, gas barbecues, tables and chairs, dunnies, and there was even cold showers here. Nice level campsites, good little spot. Managed to fit our mum and dad on our campsite with us just to block out a bit of the wind. And we'll just do one night here. Yeah, oh, there we go. Central jobs. Hey, these campsites are a really good size. And, um, I like the way they put bush between them too. Yeah, so you got a bit of privacy. So we actually booked two originally, but we put um, mum and dad on our site with us. Four hundred meters. Oh, so that's the mountain there, so you can walk around it. Doesn't show you the. No, it's not the mountain. The mountain's over here. Oh, is it? Yeah. All oh, right. Is it a proper walk up the mountain? Yeah. It looks huge, but yeah, two and a half k's return apparently. I'm gonna do that first thing in the morning, I reckon. I don't think, that high. I don't think so either. I think the car park probably takes you up half the way, probably. Oh, I like it. Nice view from that um, Barbie. Hello. Should I come back and get my bit of food? I don't think there's anything to really see anyway. Is that a rock pool up there? Yeah. Bit too cold for a swim though. Tide's starting to push up. My mum and dad aren't too keen on being on camera, but they've gone for a walk, so now's a good time to show you inside this little camper van they've had built. So they bought a high ace, and they had it converted by Dove. Got the pop top put on, a Fiamma awning, and it's been plumbed up with a water tank and gas. Solar panel on the roof, can I show them, Chloe? They did, like, like Dove did the whole internal fit out, so they bought it as like a mini bus. It was all seats, 12 seater. So. Yeah, pulled the seats out. Built all the cabinetry to there, what they wanted. Their spec and sizes. So yeah, cabinetry, microwave, upright fridge, two burner sink. And then I quite like this. There's like a little day bed section back seats. So you can you can legally have four people in this car. And then those seats slide down quite easily. Um, and the mattress comes over the top. 
and you've got a queen size bed in there. So plenty of headroom even for someone like me. Six foot two, six foot three. Fan. No air con. But um, yeah, pretty cool. It's about as much internal space as we've got. It's probably more, I reckon, yeah. eh? Heaps of room. We're quite jealous of mum and dad. They look quite comfortable when they're kicking back on the lounge, aren't they? <laughs> and uh, they can be inside and make a cup of tea or something without being out in the elements. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna make some um, some tea and some dessert tonight. I've got four, oh, Chloe had four apples that have got a bit soft and, and brown. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna peel them, dice them, stew them. And we actually bought a uh, little electric pie maker, which mum and dad have been giving us a heap of, have been ribbing us about. But uh, I can run that off the inverter and I'm gonna make some nice little apple pies and custard for dessert tonight. Hey, hey, hey. So that was uh, <coughs> five soft red, ap red apples and uh, next we'll add some water to it and cook them most of the way through. Get that boiling and uh, add some sugar and some cinnamon to it in a minute and reduce it. I thought I heard someone. Hey Chloe come here. Chloe come here. It's kangaroo. Come around here. Yeah, Skippy. Good whack of brown sugar. Bit of an inorescence. Cinnamon. Righto, while that's reducing down a bit, we'll um, get the pastry sorted. So, so a couple of sheets of puff pastry out the freezer. Luckily it came with a couple of cutouts, so that makes it easier. I'll stick the travel buddy on now too, because once they're cooked, I'll keep them warm until we're ready to eat. Oops. So I'm a little... Victron manager's telling me this is drawing about 150 amps while it's cycling. But it's, it is um, cycling on and off. There must be a thermostat in it when it reaches temp. And I don't know how long that'll take, but we'll check it in 10 or 15. Oh yeah. I'll let these sit and travel, buddy, until we finish tea, and then we'll bust them out with the custard. Oh yeah, cute little baby, eh? I'm gonna make my um, fettuccine carbonara, except I don't use fettuccine and it's not a real carbonara. You need 500 grams of bacon, I've already got my pasta on, I'm gonna bang this on, right, an onion. Use my little Kmart chopper. I laugh when Tiff brought this thing home, but uh, we use it all the time. A bit of garlic. I didn't have any. I was going to use some mint stuff, but Dad's got some, so that's good. I'll put heaps of that in. I like it garlicky. Jesus. There we go. It's roughly chopped this. I like some big chunks of garlic in there anyway. Keeps tiff off me for an evening. Onions. They are a bit minced. No matter. Garlic. Butter. Milk. And top of cream cheese. Is that so lumpy? Because it's the cream cheese is slowly melting in. I think Daddy's doing dessert. Turn the pasta off. I am.
that's probably six meals, something like that. You're not really a big fan of this meal, are you? No, I find it a bit bland. But it's dinner. It'll do. And that's Tiffany's review. <laughs> I like it. I think it's rich and hearty. It's not a um it's not it's nothing on a real carbonara. But it's like four ingredients or something. Super simple to make. And it tastes good and it fills the spot. It's a basic one. Come out pretty good. Is that yummy? <laughs> was it yum or not? It was delicious. Yeah, it was so delicious, but Daddy's keep feeling it. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Now we're going to climb that big mountain this morning. We were going to leave Chloe with Mum and Dad. But last minute, she decided she wanted to come with us. Hasn't been apart from us for like four and a half months now, so didn't like the concept of it. We'll be doing 2.6k return, class four, 311 meters high. So you just stop you from spreading dye back. Rattle. My lordy. This is one of those annoying walks where you think you've got to the end and then you finally get there and then it opens up to like another vista and you can see the next mountain in the background. Here you go, Bob. Because it's a bit hard for me. Pretty sure. Is there still a track or nah? I think this would be the highest peak. Plus, this looks like a um a rock can I'm standing on. You know, they stack rocks. 